This is Graham. He may look a little strange, but you would too if your body was built to survive this. The human body has a limited capability to absorb the energy that's encountered in crashes. The goal with Graham was to try to design a human to withstand crashes by absorbing more kinetic energy than what an average human can. I'm David Logan and I'm a crash investigation expert. For 15 years, David and his team at Monash University in Australia have been studying the impact of car crashes. We carry out a full investigation of the crash. We look at the injuries the person sustained. We also look at the car that they were travelling in and we visit the crash site as well. Speed is almost always a factor. Humans have been around on Earth for three, four million years. And it's only in the last 120 years that we've been able to transport ourselves at speeds that are way in excess of what our bodies are able to withstand. In a sense, the transport system has evolved way more quickly than what we as humans have been able to do. To create Graham, artist Patricia Piccinini began with a sculpture and slowly transformed it into a full-blown crash protection structure. Graham is a wonderful example of art meeting science. We had a lot of very complex concepts relating to energy dissipation, the physics of crashes. And our job was to talk with the artist and help her to understand the sorts of ways in which the human body could be improved. For example, Graham has a very thick skull. It's multiple layers of bone and it's almost like a bicycle helmet. It's designed to crush and absorb the energy in a crash when his head impacts the front of a car or the, the steering wheel within a car. Another example of Graham's unique physiology is his brain. In a severe crash, when the head hits the side of the car in a side impact, the brain will first hit one side of the skull and then it rebounds and bounces against the other side of the skull. And this rebounding, almost like the yolk of an egg inside an eggshell, can cause a lot of damage to the brain. 